Our seas and oceans cover almost three quarters of the Earth's surface and an estimated 80% of all life lives within them. Yet every day, marine environments around the world are facing an unprecedented onslaught. Thousands of pirate ships are roaming the seas in search of treasure, one of the world's most precious resources, fish. Identified as among the most serious threats to the world's fish stocks, illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing or pirate fishing is putting huge pressure on marine ecosystems and the food we take for granted. These operators don't respect fisheries laws, safety and hygiene standards are ignored, no taxes are paid on their catch, and human rights abuses on these ships are commonplace. Illegal and highly damaging fishing gear are often used, simply to minimise effort and maximise profit. Such gear can destroy crucial habitats and are commonly indiscriminate in what they catch. Once the catch is on board, it is sorted by the crews who keep only what is considered valuable on the international market. Up to 90% of what is caught, known as bycatch, is simply dumped back into the sea, dead. Pirate fishers contribute to undermining global fisheries management, uh, removing excessive amounts of fish from the sea, and causing widespread ecological problems within the world oceans. They are extremely elusive and evade being caught or prosecuted by using a number of legal loopholes. Pirate fishing vessels are fully aware that they are operating illegally and avoid being identified by carefully hiding their names and call signs. Working together, several vessels will operate under the same name and only one license. If detected, they simply rename their boats and often re-flag them with a flag of convenience belonging to one of the many nations that operate an open registry. These pirate fishers are stealing an estimated $1 billion worth of fish every year from African waters alone. In many coastal regions, fishing and fish smoking are some of the very few ways that men and women can earn money. All countries have an exclusive maritime zone, but throughout Africa, these waters are not being respected. In particular, many countries have specific zones reserved for local fishermen and as fish breeding areas. Yet these are frequently invaded by pirate fishing vessels. Une fois la nuit tombée, il avance vers les côtes pour draguer là-bas. Après le bon matin, vers les 4h, 5h, 6h du matin, ils sont en train de de sortir. Vous regardez les stocks hier à Fima, parce que ma hier est sur ma caméra. A hier est ma musique, on goûte à mon balouma, on goûte à mon essai, mais tu veux mon affaire hier. Hier est notre rumeur, vous regardez ma, à mes rues quand tu fais du mal. As well as stealing fish. The illegal vessels frequently destroy valuable nets and often threaten the lives of local fishermen. To avoid inspection and taxes, pirate fishing vessels rarely go to port. Once the catch is packed and frozen in the hold, it is transshipped at sea onto refrigerated cargo ships, bringing food and supplies in one direction and taking the valuable catch in the other. It is then laundered into the legitimate fish markets of the world, its origins virtually untraceable. Consumers will be unaware of the origin of their fish or of the countries who suffer the devastating effects caused by this kind of activity. This vessel is just one of thousands of fishing vessels operating illegally across the world today.